guys, Jace Carzai here with another review, this time on the Precision Series Sarge from Disney Pixar Cars. So, um, since on Sunday it was the, hun it marked the 100th anniversary of the end of World War One, I, I figured it was a perfect time to review the, um, a World War veteran. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the packaging. It says Disney Pixar Cars Precision Series, right there. And in the acrylic case, there is Sarge himself with his license plate. We'll get to that soon. And then Sarge. Unlike Sally's, which I reviewed last week, you can see a, a video, my review of here by clicking the card. This is not on international packaging. So it's got the um, facts on the back. So it's a Sarge uh, 1942 World War II Willys Army Jeep, uh, four cylinder Go Devil engine, tough all wheel drive chassis, and there's a nice picture of him in downtown Radiator Springs. I like that expression, it's very determined on him. And it says Adult Collector. On the side, it just says. Uh, Disney car Pixar Cars Precision Series, and same on the other side. But yeah, so uh, without further ado, uh, let's open them on up and get to the close-up review. All right, I'm back here with Sarge Bend up, and uh, before we start, let's take a look at the license plate keychain that comes with every Precision Series single. So this one is kind of unique because it's actually green instead of black like the normal ones are uh, and it's here it says if it focuses carburetor carburetor county it says veteran down there because he is and then it says marks right there 42 and then uh, his license plate reads 41 WW2 because he um is a 1941 uh, Jeep, from, and he was in World War II. And then on the back, there's a nice picture of Sarge, and we'll get to that in a in a minute soon, because it's that we'll, it says 1942 World War II Willys army jeep so then maybe this is because that was the year he went into service 41 because he's not a 41 jeep um yeah and then uh l head float head 134.2 cubic inch inline four cylinder go devil engine making 60 horsepower T84 three speed manual transmission, and then there's that nice picture of him. Anyways, so now we can move on to the actual car himself. Now, you can see his expression, he looks very confused, and that's the thing I don't like about him because Sarge is always like you think he would be like determined. Like, look at the picture. He looks very angry. So uh, that's the one thing I really don't like about him. But other than that, he's actually really cool. He's first. He's got the star on his hood, and yeah, and then he's got his wheels, rubber tires. And then he's got his surplus symbol right there. And this part is actually textured. You can really feel it. I don't know if you can tell on camera. And then he's got his windows. And then on the back, he's got like supplies, and a spare tire, his license plate, which we just set over there. Yeah, he's got nice rivets and stuff. There's the base if you're interested. And but also his hood, which is the. Uh, can open up like so. You can have them like that. And then it's got his engine in there, which is pretty cool. He's got his grill and his headlights. 
size. So yeah, he's decent. It's probably my least favorite precision series car because of how he's basically like the only difference between these one. I personally like the single right here better because of his expression is more angry, whereas confused. But well, let's, we can compare them. You can def you can tell that uh, the Precision S Series One, that one, is a quite a different shade of brown. And on the back, the spare tire isn't filled in. So this is. Only, I forgot to mention the tire on the back here is, I believe, rubber. So that's pretty cool. It's also rubber. So that's kind of cool. But then, yeah. So, um, there's only one thing that I think it would be really cool if this car had with Jason is in the movie, which I, I think it's actually on the antenna, on the uh, thing. You can see it. Maybe a little. Yeah. It is there, it's hard to see. It will take saluting star as an example. He has an antenna. I think it would be cool if they came up with like a retractable antenna or like a fold out antenna that just rested along his hood and you could like pop it up. Like how cool would that be? But that's just my opinion. So um, that really about does it for my review on the Precision Series Sarge. Thank you all very, very much for watching. And I'll see I'll see you in the next next week. GS Curse 8, signing out.